Welcome to About 5 Minutes About, a new podcast series here on Bustin' Blockbusters, brought to you by Double P Media. My name is Matt. You can follow me at Bust Blockbuster on Twitter. And you, of course, can find Double P Media on Twitter at the word double, the letters PHQ. Our approximate five minutes today covers Natalie Holt, who was recently announced as the composer for Obi-Wan. Not Ludwig, not Joe. And while John Williams composed a theme for the series, Natalie will be doing the majority of the heavy lifting for the score of the show. There was a great article done about that on Vanity Fair, and we'll be citing that article a lot. So first of all, Welcome to my absolute favorite film franchise, Natalie Holt. Thank you for joining the cast of great composers that have composed for this universe. So now we have Natalie as the composer for Obi-Wan, but you probably most know her for the score she did for Marvel's Disney Plus series called Loki. Or if you're a History Channel buff like me, then you may also know her as the composer who took over for season two of Nightfall. But believe me, she's been composing a lot, a whole lot, for things like Dead Waterfall, Beecham House, and many, many, many other things. After all, you don't think that Disney, Marvel, Lucasfilm are going to hire somebody with no experience, right? In that Vanity Fair article, we find out that John Williams actually agreed to compose a theme for Obi-Wan just because he wanted to do a theme for Benny. And... I'm pretty sure that a couple of babies were thrown in there during his statement about that as well, because that's a John Williams thing, baby. But Natalie's going to give us most of the score. In the Vanity Fair article, she does say that the tent poles for the score are set out by John Williams. Wait, what does that even mean? Well, think of the Ben theme composed by John and maybe some other familiar Star Wars themes as the structure that holds the roof up overhead. And, of course, the show, Obi-Wan, being the roof. But inside the tent, that's all Natalie's domain. She also says in the article that there are many new elements in the show that are new and fresh. And that she's been able to have her own interpretation with elements that she can't reveal. So, no spoilers from Natalie. I guess she truly does understand the value of obeying a non-disclosure agreement. But what can we expect from Natalie? Well, she is a violinist, so we might get some nice string arrangements of things that we either know or that are newly composed. And she's very good at working with her engineers using the sound design to get the most out of her compositions. So if you are a Ludwig fan from his score for The Mandalorian, you can also rest assured that she did this score with Ludwig's engineer, Chris Fogel, for recording it, and it was mixed at Ludwig's studio as well. So because she's using that studio and that engineer in particular, you're likely to get the same kind of quality of recording and the placements in the mix on your speakers or your TV or wherever you're getting this similar to The Mandalorian. So that's a good thing. One musical trait about a lot of Natalie's compositions, uh, including the TVA theme for Loki, is that she uses the dominant five to the one chord very, very dramatically and effectively. Whoa, Matt, that's way too much technical jargon. What the heck do you mean? Have no fear. Have no worries. Because all will be explained as we go along with our coverage of the Obi-Wan series on the Triple P of the Double P's. That's right, Parsec Passion Podcast on Double P Media will be covering the Obi-Wan series, and I'll be guiding you through the score for each episode. So be sure to find and subscribe to Double P Media's podcast, Parsec Passion, wherever you get your podcasts, and also subscribe to the YouTube channel where you can get all things Double P Media, including Busting Blockbusters episodes, You can find the Double P Media YouTube at youtube.com slash C slash Double P Media. I'm Matt. Thanks for joining me for this edition of About 5 Minutes About.